Hello YouTubers, um, let me start by just explaining what's going on because um, I'm sure a lot of you, well I hope a lot of you would have watched my first three videos and are probably wondering why I suddenly look completely different because I said that I was going to do all four in a row and the truth is that I did um, but I obviously rambled so much that my camera just gave up on life um, because halfway through this last video um, it just, yeah, just completely cut out and so I charged it and finished off the video and then I have no idea what happened really um, I potentially deleted it in a mad deleting frenzy, I'm not really sure um, so yes so I was editing it and was like wait where's the end of the video um, so I just decided I will you'll have like me rambling now and then um, that start of the video that I already recorded and then I'll just finish it off now um, so I'm sorry I look really rough I'm still kind of recovering from Glastonbury um, and I'm a little bit underprepared but I have like my list here and I'm going to try and think of some other tips that I would have come up with while I was there um, so stay tuned thank you hello this is the last part of my festival guide um, today I'm kind of covering equipment-y things that you need to take and just some random little tips sort of before you go um, to get on with really so in terms of equipment it's all I mean I'm sure you all know this tent <laughs> um, I would say practice with your tent you know put it up in your room in your garden whatever just check that everything is in there because imagine if you get there and you've got like a rod missing yes it's, it's not gonna work so it's a good idea even though it means you have to take your pretty new tent out of its packaging and not be able to get it back in it is a very good call to try it out um, obviously if it's new if you've already got a tent that you've used I'm sure you'll be fine um, sleeping bag do, do, do. Oh, I have this little baby it's like a wind up one which I can't even... Ooh, there we go. Ooh. So that'll be me at festivals. I wonder if it lights um, up. Of course it lights up. Ooh. It is a good idea in your tent because no one really can get dressed in the dark, can they? Or undressed. More to the point. Um, so that's a good idea. And torch just... Like I know at festival a lot of people got lost in the maze and in the woods definitely good to have a torch in the woods think about this um, and also me and Matt are taking an inflatable mattress I've left it downstairs so I can't show you um, <coughs> sorry coughing fits all the time um, yes I've lost my train of thought um, yeah they're only about 10 to 15 pounds for a double less than that for a single probably about eight um, I got us from Aldi, we're going to test that out as well just to make sure that it works and we're not like lying on the floor um, but it was £12 and I saw them for about 15 in Argos um, if you're taking a car you can get like the electric pump things but you have to plug them into the like lighter bit of your car so if you're not taking a car don't buy one because you will be upset when you get to the festival um, what else? If you're not taking that, take at least a roll map because like I've said in previous video. Okay, I think where I got stuck was somewhere along the lines of if you're not taking a blow up mattress at least take a roll mat of some type or even a yoga mat, I've done that before, that works. Um, just because the floor like really isn't comfy and um, that's kind of common sense really. Um, you know you could always take a pillow if you are a proper comfort monster but I've got a sleeping bag it's like called a mummy sleeping bag that goes all the way around your head and I find that's like fine for me but I'm not like a massive pillow person to be a fair um, and my last kind of equipmenty thing um, actually no I have another one I've just thought of it um, for one like a torch or a lantern so you can find your tent again when you're completely hammered and are lost which did happen to me so yes um chairs chairs are a really good thing to take because if you have weather like we had at Glastonbury well, for the first few days anyway 
like it will just be like a slush pit so it's nice to have somewhere to sit that isn't in the tent because you can get a bit claustrophobic um I mean I even got claustrophobic just like with my friend in there I was just like I need space um so chairs go for chairs um and then kind of onto my random tips that I'm like some of these may be repeating from other videos so I'm really sorry about that but um here we go uh the first one would be book your transport in advance because there are thousands of people going to these festivals every year and they'll come to and from the festivals so the Monday will definitely be the worst for public transport and for traffic as well so if you want to beat the traffic I would say either like after the Sunday night performer has finished just go then if you're not tired enough if you're not too tired I mean to say um, yeah go then or just get a couple hours sleep and leave sort of first thing in the morning because if you leave any time after kind of 10 11 o'clock yeah between kind of 11 and 4 I suppose would be like the massively nightmarish times I've heard people say that they like it took them like 12 hours to get home before and things like that and you don't really want to be in your car for 12 hours um, and me and my friend we booked uh, we got like a bus from the Glastonbury site to, into Bristol and then from there we're supposed to get the train to Paddington and um, we left a good like two hours between when the bus was supposed to arrive and when we got on the train and we still missed it by about three hours so that's how bad it can be so uh, definitely book your transport in advance because um, there was a lot of people in a queue when we got to the station so we were glad that we had tickets and we actually managed to wrangle our way onto the train anyway which is always good um do, do, do. a bit of a random one is um get waxed before you go or use some kind of like hair removal cream because i mean there's like you're running around to see different acts and you know like it's just a, there's like a lot going on and you don't really want to be like the hairy smelly one <laughs> sorry that sounds really horrible of me if you want to be hairy and smelly go for it but I just think it's um it's um I can't think of the word it's not nice for you and it's not nice for anyone else unpleasant that's the word um so that yeah that would be my top tip really um kind of leading on from that um take a bikini because I think I might have kind of mentioned showers before but some festivals have showers and some do not but if yours does be prepared for it um, be prepared that it might be a communal shower or an outdoor shower or like it might not lock so just um, take a bikini just in case even if you don't use it it's good to have it it's I mean they're not that big you know you're not taking up loads of room with it and also if you have like a massively sunny day it's good to um, have a bikini because you might just want to put a bikini top on with some shorts because it can get so hot um, leading on from that I've probably said this before but flip flops are stupid it doesn't matter how hot it is I mean like take some little boots or something but flip flops are not the way forward at any festival I just no 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 um, but also I mean pack for all weathers because it may rain it may not rain but I mean I'd still go in your wellies I always go in my wellies because then you don't have to like put them in your bag because they take up so much room. And, oh, you're not stupid, you can all pack like a suitcase or a bag or a backpack or whatever. Um, but just generally, because you really don't know, even if like the weather for Glastonbury was like, oh yeah, after Wednesday it, like it won't rain at all, it'll be a massive heat wave and it was only sunny for like half of like well a couple of hours on Saturday and then it was like boiling on Sunday but from literally for the two weeks before and the whole of the whole proper Glastonbury week it rained every every single day so even if it was hot like it was still like so muddy um but um yeah just make sure you have like a massive range of clothes take everything you think you'll need and way more than that on top um, everything else I'd say like take as minimal as you can survive on like your jewellery and your makeup and all that but clothes go overboard because it needs to be done um, 
and also pack your bag a few days in advance because I did not do this I was working ugh, all day every day for like five days before I went and I just didn't have time and um, so on the last night like we're all arguing and trying to find a bag that everything would fit in and trying to remember all the things that I've forgotten and I, I left so many things like I totally didn't take any of my own advice on these videos and I think maybe next time I pack I'll actually watch myself even though it's kind of hideous so I'm sorry about that for you guys um what was I going to say yes um yeah so pack in advance because it will give you a chance to remember all the things you've already forgotten um keep your phone off as much as possible if you're not taking some kind of like wind up charger or solar charger um you can like pay pe like there's some stalls at some festivals that um you can pay and they'll charge your phone for you but i mean i just think it's better to ration your phone I and mean, do you really need it that much um i tend to keep mine on pretty much just for when i'm lost or um if me and my friends are split up because we do sometimes have quite different music tastes um so it's you know it's good to be able to get in contact with them rather than like oh I'll meet you by that bar it's a nightmare trying to find people if you don't have a specific meeting point or a phone on you um what else remember hair bands because um, there was a girl on my train on the way there and she was like oh no I forgot hair band and I sat there thinking you idiot like who forgets a hair band and guess who forgot a hair band I always have two on my wrist, I don't understand why, like where they went, because I always have two, because if I, I don't know, if I do my little bun, sometimes one just doesn't quite do it, I'm not sure, but yeah, and then I, and I only had an elastic band on my wrist, so my hair isn't thanking me right now for that, but it was better than nothing, so, what else, oh yeah, the biggest thing, don't forget your ticket, because um, that's no fun, tickets are the most important thing. Um, sorry, I was just listening to Two Door Cinema Club and thinking, oh, I'm so excited, I get to see him like twice this season. And um, it occurred to me, I never said, go and get, um, before you go to the festival, Google Clash Finder for their festival, and it will save you from buying a program when you get there from those massive scam artists. And um, it means that you'll know when everyone's on and you won't miss anyone. I can't really think of anything else. I really hope that I have covered everything. Um, mm -mm. Can I just dance for a little bit? Um, yeah, I hope I've remembered everything, but um, some people have already commented on my other videos and said, like, oh, what about this? Um, so keep doing that because there's a whole festival season ahead. And um, I'm not sure if I said, like, at the start of my first video, but I'm really sorry to, like, people who went to, like, download and beach break and now Glastonbury because I messed up with this video um, and that I wasn't prepared ages ago to tell you all these things um, but I'm sure you managed it and I'm sure you've got better tips than me right now um, also like if you went to Glastonbury or anywhere else really just let me know who your highlights were because I love to talk about festivals I'm a massive music-y dork um, and like on the, well if I'm asking you who your favourites are I may as well tell you who mine were um, I've given it a lot of thought because like, a lot of people ask you on the way home and stuff, don't they? Um, and I, I really think Biffy Clyro are probably my top top act at Glastonbury. I think they were so good. It's like so powerful and um, you know the vocals and the instruments were like, like perfect. It was... I just couldn't take my eyes off them and they really braved the rain. If you haven't seen them, like go on. BBC and watch them because they were like half naked and it was hacking it down um, but they were so good I don't I don't think anyone else really beat them I think a lot of people will probably say Beyonce or Coldplay or whatever but I mean they didn't really bother me to be fair well I didn't say Coldplay I mean I didn't see Coldplay that's what I meant to say because mm, I'm just not in love I liked the first couple of albums but my friend said they, they actually played a lot of old stuff so I was a bit gutted but I think I think that was the night I watched Professor Green actually and he was so so good so I have no regrets about that although I'm a bit gutted that I miss Chemical Brothers at the same time um who else yeah Pro Green definitely be a top one um Licky Lee 
it's re it was really really good her set was like a lot more kind of dark and artsy than I thought it would be actually but it was really good and her voice is just as amazing as I thought it would be and yeah she was amazing if you haven't heard of her before um, she's like a Swedish like female vocalist she's I really don't know how to describe her at all um because it's really a bit of everything I'm not even I'm not even going to attempt it but um she's really good and it's spelled L-Y-K-K-E and then L-I Licky Lee um so yes uh look her up and also someone new that I saw was Caitlin Rose who um she's from Tennessee and she's like a little bit folksy country singer and she was she was just really really good um and I haven't heard of her before at all and I, I've bought her albums now so I'm waiting on Amazon for those um who else there were so many good people I can't even remember them KTB was pretty good um oh uh Laura Marling was really good I wish I'd been like at the front for that I feel like because I was just kind of wandering around when she was singing but she sounded I mean she sounded really good and other people have said that, that she was like their favourite um, I can't even remember I thought Arlo Black was really good actually I thought he was great and the vaccines because I I sort of heard a couple of songs by them but I wasn't massively interested but I saw them live and they were so amazing like really really um energetic <laughs> energetic and um just um I think his name's Justin Young his voice is just unbelievable but they were yeah really really good really rate them and um their album is also in the post <laughs> I literally have spent I'm not even gonna say how much money I've spent on buying people's albums after um Glastonbury but um it was such a good weekend and um yeah please, please tell me who like what your favorite things were and if anyone went and uh went to block block nine and like shangri-la area tell me about that because i never got a chance and i'm really gutted now just um show you what i'm wearing uh, it's not very inspiring um but i've got um no nail polish on because i'm lazy i've been at work all day um uh, but i've got these rings on again which i think i had in like the first three parts um, I love these, they're Lily Melrose and I have lived in them since I got them. Um, I think they just go really well together really. Um, got all my silly festival bands on now, I think I'm going to get rid of them like after this festival season because I'm just they're a bit grimy now, I'm a bit over it. Um, I've got my this big slubby new look cardigan on that I believe I have shown you before. It's not very interesting but I really live in it, I love a good sort of granddad inspired item um, so I've got that and then this top I got from Laura Lee's um, at Topshop quite a while ago but I really like it actually oh it's got like some little dice there and it's, I think it's got some bits down here but I've got it tucked in um, to these like Levi cut off shorts and I got these um, I got these at Glastonbury actually and they're, um, they're really similar to my beautiful Zara ones that I showed you let me grab this dog oh. yeah they're really similar to my Zara ones that I love but these are more high waisted so massive gem and I'm so happy because I didn't even try them on and they're like the perfect fit um, and also I don't know why but every time I do a video I seem to be wearing the same shoes wearing my trusty sand boots again I promise I do own other shoes and I do wear a lot of other shoes but I don't know quite what happens there um, and yet again you get to see Link in a video he just he just likes being around people, really. Um, I'm going to get rid of it now. Um, so, yeah, I will see you soon. I will do some more videos for you when I decide what they will be. Uh, so let me know if there's anything in particular you wanted to hear. And, um, yeah, I'll give it a go. Bye!